good morning good afternoon and good evening welcome to escalator india education we are based in bangalore india today we are going to see the basics of escalators and travelators you of making this video is to understand the basics of escalators and the travelators so what are the topics we are going to cover here? The topics what we are going to cover here will be a definition, what is, what is meant by escalators and travelators and what is meant by travelator. Application, we will be seeing where are the escalators and travelators are used, which sector it is used, that we will be covering. And the main basic parts of the escalators, means how many parts of the escalator are there, what are the visible parts which we usually see in the escalators. And if you want to go deep, deep in details, then we will be discussing about the basic dimensions also. Four topics we are going to cover in this session. Step by step, we will be making videos and uh, posting the details uh, of how, how about the say, what are the safety features, how, how is the mechanism. All the videos and topics related thing will be covered in the uh, later session. So if you guys have any comment or uh, any clarification any any query related to escalator and travelator you can uh, write it to us or you can uh, write it in the comment box mail us we will be happy to help you or assist you so now we are going to see the definition of the escalators what is the definition of escalators and what is the definition of moving walk or it is called travelator so escalator is nothing but a power driven inclined continuous moving stairway for raising or lowering the people for, for example we have we have uh, st steps in our building the steps is nothing but it is a fixed uh, fixed uh, particle but if you see the uh, the steps is converted into the moving particle it, it at a certain degree of inclination which will be uh, moving which will be carrying people up or down depends on the requirement so escalator is nothing but a moving stairway. Stairway is a stationary one and escalator is a moving stairway. Means the steps will be moving up and down. Whereas what is uh, moving walk or it is called travel, travel letter, there will not be step, it will be pallet. Why it is pallet or belt? Why it is uh, called pallet? Step, in step, if you see, there will be a riser. Whereas in, in pallet, we don't see that riser. Means the step step like formation will not be happening in the moving walk or travel letter. So the main difference is that others, uh, rest of every mechanism or whatever components what we are using will be the same. So this is the main uh, definition of the escalators and moving walk. Hope everybody is clear about the definitions. So I am moving to the next slide. Now we come to the main and important aspects where the escalators and travelators are used. If you see, most of you would have already seen where uh, most of the application in, in uh, departmental stores, airports, railway stations, metros, um, exhibition centers, shopping malls, hotels, big, big hotels, and wherever uh, conventional centers, uh, wherever there is a huge traffic uh, flow, to raise people from one floor to other floor escalators are always there the, why we, uh, why we are preferring escalator is that uh, rather than elevator is that escalator has a huge uh, people flow whereas elevator there is a, there is a re restriction but if you see in escalators it is keep on uh, moving the per, uh, thousands and thousands of uh, per, per person per hour so where there is a huge demand of uh, people flow there the escalator com comes and plays the vital role so these are the main applications uh, where uh, escalators and travelator are, are used uh, malls or uh, metros or airports where if you see, this is the place where many people come keep on coming going so the traffic if you see it is very high over there so in that case, if you see, this will be the 
best solution one can imagine otherwise if you are going for a lift the people flow the timing will be huge so the solution the best traffic flow solution comes with escalators and travelators hope it is clear next let's see what is it. next the parts of an escalators what are the parts of an escalator what we usually see when we are going to railway uh, railway metro departmental store airports the just i will be explaining you the basic things we will have an in depth uh, video when in the later session when uh, we see the parts of the escalator in detail so uh, just to make you familiar what are the parts of the escalator which we see on the escalators we are go going here are the here are some uh, first when you enter the escalator you will be seeing the uh, la landing plate landing plate will be in the lower region as well as the upper region so if you are go uh, climbing the escalator from down from down to up the, from the you you step into the landing plate and then uh, uh, the steps will come and it, it will take you to the upper landing and then you will exit so in both in entry and exit there will be a landing plates next uh, next uh, of landing place will be a comb, a comb plate uh, comb plate along with the combs comb plate is a fixed part and the and the, and the combs are the are the portion which is fixed to the comb plates the comb is nothing but the intersection of escalators and the comb there will, there will be a comb like segment which is intersecting uh, and it will be present in both upper and lower landing ba balustrade balustrade is nothing but the glass portion which you see the glass portion or sometimes in uh, metros or railways you will be it will be made up of stainless steel so that portion is called so it will be from uh, for, from lower to upper uh, part that portion is called the balustrade above the balustrade one black uh, handrail will be there which is which will be moving along with the step that black portion which is covering the balustrade is called the handrail handrail help us to hold and climb the escalator which makes us uh, easy and give us a support skirt the gap between the balustrade and the step uh, step there will be a steel portion which is called skirt steps is nothing but the where we climb and uh, which we take uh, which uh, take us up or down that portion where we stand is called the step emergency stops is there, there are emergency stops is in the upper landing as well as in the lower landing when there is any fall or any uh, we need to stop the esca escalator this emergency stops it should, uh, it helps us to stop the escalator Miss, it will be as a, a push button type so just push and it will uh, stop the esca escalator so in the upper region if you see there will be upper landing plate as i explained lower and upper landing both are the same case in the upper landing most of the time below the upper landing plate there will be electric motor and a motor and the controller electric motor used uh, which is used to power the drive uh, which moves the, the steps up and down handrail drive assembly handrail drive assembly is a portion where the handrail is uh, with the help of this the handrail will be moving in the same speed as that of escalator steps and this drive help to get the tension and uh, movement of the handrail easily step roller see every step there will be a roller the roller which will be connected to the chain and the chain will be driving up and down with the help of the motor so step every step will have a roller and every roller is connected to the step chain so uh, and the step chain is driven by uh, the motor uh, by the drive wheel at the upper landing and if you see in the four corner miss of the handrail where the handrail enters and exit now that portion is called handrail entry box miss in that if you see handrail will enter and it will leave so one uh, one end will be entry and other will, will be will be exit so this is called the handrail entry um, entry box 
stepped uh, turn around so this is the uh, this is the uh, radii part turn backs and go goes to the upper landing or in the lower landing both way it is possible so in the both upper landing and lower landing there will be a turn around based on the design dimensions uh, this is the uh, basic thing the distance between the end support means it is the overall length of the escalator overall length from one end to other end so so whenever the building is constructed based on the angle and rise this beam or beam, beam, beam to beam or distance between the end support will be calculated and it should be implemented in the buildings to make the escalator fit exactly otherwise the escalator will not fit we need to have to do to non do the non standard things non standard uh, uh, designing non standard manufacturing so the cost will uh, shoot up so it's better to have, go with the standard dimension with the manufacturer rise what is the rise rise is nothing but the uh, floor to floor uh, distance for example if, if the escalator is in the ground floor and it is going to the first floor the ffl of uh, ground floor to the ffl of first floor so that distance is called the rise so what you see in the upper uh, portion is called upper landing what do you, where, uh, where we entry or exit same way where we entry or exit in the lower is called lower uh, uh, lower landing why it is called landing uh, landing means we enter or we exit this we have a time uh, it gives us a time to stand there and slowly step into the escalator um, step into the moving part inclination the escalator will be mainly inclined uh, inclination of 30 and 35 uh, degrees travel later or moving or it will be a zero degree 10 degree 11 degree and 12 degree so this is the basic so uh, of escalators and travelators so thank you guys and in the next session what we making is that parts of escalators seen the basic parts of escalator so what is the use what is the function of it what why it is there that we will be making in the next session see you in the next session thank you bye bye